Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are currently working on finishing up our road construction and I would really really like to see all of this road build be done by the end of this episode. We'll see if we can pull that off but I'm kind of itching to get back into expansion and we're gonna do that pretty soon I feel like. Integrating Chasm would be a very good thing to do as well. We're at 103 improved relations. Okay. So we could probably send a gift here. That would be 25. That would boost us up enough. So that sounds good. We can do that. And then we can start integration here on 15 February. So that sounds good. As soon as that rolls around, we are going to start integrating TASM. So we are currently capped on our manpower, which is one of the big reasons why I want to get to war here quite soon, like a proper war. And yes, we'll start integrating that. That looks great. We can also start working up here, or I guess continue working, on getting a bunch of these cities developed, right? So that is definitely something to do here. And this is a research city here. Okay, so we need courts of law. We can definitely get two of those. That looks fine, and that is all that we've got going on here. This is another research city here. We'll need an additional court of law, but we'll need gold for that. This colonizable territory is still not real. Okay. Well, we have a scorned family due to the fact that our third navy doesn't actually have a leader. Let's put in a scorned family member here. He's going to suck at the job, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. So... These guys are going to finish up over here. These are going to finish up over here. Right. That is going to take them a little bit of time to work their way through all of this. And the real issue here is this is kind of a bit of a mess up here, right? So I don't really want to queue up additional roads until we see kind of what the final state of this looks like. I mean, we can see it looks like this. So there is that. We could certainly take these guys down this direction and tell them just start building around this impassable terrain like that and then come back over here. Uh, what is this? A citizen is moving to Megara, huh? Hmm. There are citizens. We're going to gain the tyranny. That is fine. So as I was saying, we can come down over here and make sure that this is all connected up. And then we can come out this direction and build this entire road all along this boundary. So that would be something kind of like that. And then we would come back over here, probably make a connection here, come up this way. This is Kush, which is our vassal. So we're going to consider that part of our terrain here as far as this goes. And we can just build a road up like so. Although these guys are going to be building this road. So at this point, this is all wasted. So we're not going to go up there. We're going to come back over this way, connect in over here. Come around like this. Make sure these roads connect in. Make sure these roads connect in. And then come up over here. We've got this guy here. So a road that comes out over here would make a lot of sense to me. And then from there, a road that connects like that. And then a road that connects like that and that and also that. And then these guys, once they're done here, they can just build like that. And I think that's these roads completed. Well, we could definitely make an argument that there should be a connection like here. And a connection over here as well, for sure. So we could certainly make that argument. That would mean that these guys would come back over here and connect like that and then connect down like this. And then over here, we should definitely have a connection as well. We'll wait on that. We'll allow this to build as it is. This is going to take a very long time to get all of that built. So that's okay. This up here is going to take a lot less time, and these guys are going to be responsible probably for coming back over here and building those couple of roads that I was saying should probably have a connection here, like this. Uh, we'll wave the fight. And out over here as well. And then out over 
there was a connection that I wanted here. So if we go into Atlas map mode, yeah, that should do. So if we combine Atlas map mode together with the selection of both of these, then we can see this is what our quote unquote final road network would look like. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. I do think that we're going to want a section of road here. And that is probably something that is going to be co connected by these lads. So they're gonna come back over here and just connect this up like so, and just do something kind of like that. So there's gonna be a little bit more roadage being built out over here, out over this way. I don't feel like we need a connection there. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this situation. So that looks good as far as the roads go. Now we do have Arabia Felix Centralis rebelling in 21 months. So I would like to shift this over. We're on local autonomy right now. I'd like to shift this over to harsh treatment. This is not going to actually change this very much, unfortunately. So there is that. We are somehow 16% Israelite here. Okay. <laughs> well, this is probably going to rebel fairly soon. And these guys should be done with their building by then, I think. So that would be good. Hopefully they're done with their constructions by then. Ideally. Well, let's come up here and spend some money again. I want to be in terrain map mode, but actually it's kind of easier to see the cities for me in political map mode. So that seems fine. Let's hop up over here. We can definitely make the argument that we should have a tax office here. This is fine for now. Nothing here. Here we should put in a Freeman district. Yeah, this did have a Freeman district. I wanted to double check that. We're good here. This is all fine. Yes. And then out over here. Yep, that looks good. Okay, we can put in a military tradition. We should definitely do that. So this would be Oasis trade. I mean, it would reduce our camel cost. Camel morale, camel defense and offense. Yeah, I want to make our way down here. So we're going to grab Oasis trade for now. That looks good. And then, of course, we want to continue to work on things like this. This city needs a lot of work. Let's build up a foundry here for now. And we're kind of spent out now, so that looks good for the moment. And as of right now, we need to be thinking about where we want to expand next. We're going to have a hard time expanding out this way for the moment, at least by land. We could do it by sea, but, I mean, there's a true ocean down here. That's not fantastic, right? And we don't want to expand into the Ptolemaics, so that leaves us basically two options. We can go into Armenia, or we can go out this direction, into Macedon. So that's... both of those are slightly scary. <laughs> I think Macedon is less scary to us. Yeah, they're 2330. So I think Macedon is probably going to end up being the target. Armenia is quite scary to us. We want to maintain Arados as a buffer state, and we want to head out this direction, I think. So for now, that'll be fine. Let's check in on our road constructions. They appear to be proceeding apace. Nice. So that'll all get finished up in the eventual times. But we're making good progress. No doubt about that. Yeah, that is definitely making very solid progress. These guys are going to be done over here quite soon. And then they're going to have to make their journey up this direction. Once they're done with that, we're probably just going to send them back up to group up with these guys. Or more likely, we should send these down to prepare for this rebellion. Oh, this guy's disloyal again. Of course he is. So what can we do about that? We can't bribe him until next September, over a year. 14 months until these guys rebel, so that is fine. We need to remove Rival. That's what we need to do here. Okay, so now he's no longer disloyal. I don't know why he was our rival, but whatever. And we need to bring him up to the port here. Okay, so we're going to embark the army, and we're going to sail right on down to this port. What is the supply limit here? 76? That should be fine. So that looks good. We're going to continue to construct these roads here. 
This area rebelling is, of course, going to be mildly problematic for us. Arabia Felix Centralis is actually up over here. Okay. Can we just harsh treatment this? Yes, we can. Okay, that's going to delay that. Never mind. Head on back to Jerusalem. I want the Navy. Come on over here. There we go. So that looks good. TASM is going to be integrated pretty soon. So that's not an issue. And we're going to start integrating Kush eventually as well. We should probably improve opinion with them. So we'll get going on that. Improving that by plus 40. Yeah, that'll be fine. No problem there. Oh, apparently we're up here now. Sure. <laughs> I hit escape and I guess that brought us up here. It uh, popped through an event. So that's fine. We're going to move these guys back to Jerusalem and get them back to drilling. We do want them to be building up their experience. But this leader is an issue. We'll get that sorted after we're done with the road build. We're almost done with that. So that looks good. Let's call upon Esther. Converting an additional five pops. Excellent. War averted up over here. Okay, whatever. Yeah, apparently mashing escape makes us shoot to the location. Weird. I guess that's fine, though. So Simeon might rebel in 57 months. So this definitely delayed when this is going to rebel. We will certainly be done with this in 57 months. No doubt about that. So that looks wonderful. This guy is a corrupt traitor, huh? Who is this guy? He's a Rob Makana. Okay. Well, he's going to be disloyal now. I guess that's fine. And yeah, we're just going to continue to build road out through this area. There's not that much that actually needs to be built here, though. Anti-piracy edict, huh? You know what? That's fine. We can do that. Do we have a road connection here? I don't think we do. Once we're done with that, we're going to head up like so and get a road connection there. I intended to have one there. So that looks good. And yep, this should be absolutely fine. Lots and lots of roads being built here, but we've got 863 gold. So I want to head up over this direction and continue to build up, say, this city here. This is a slave slash freeman city. So that looks good. Untiring Devotion giving us three free stability. That is wonderful. And I do want to build taverns here. So we're going to build one, two, three taverns. And we're also going to need to build three freeman districts. One, two, three of those. And then we can build a tax office. Might as well. So this city is now good to go. And then these cities down here should be pretty complete. This one is not started yet, though. I don't want to build this foundry just yet. We will run out of gold if we do that. So instead, I'm just going to put in a tavern for right now. We'll just do that to mark this as that that type of city. So that'll be fine. This down here is currently just a port city. And honestly, having a port here is useful. We might keep the port. But the rest of this would probably be a freeman. So we need a new title here. And how skilled would this guy be? Not very, but it's monthly legitimacy. So that seems okay. Not too concerned about that one. How are we doing on our legion size? We could expand it. I'm not going to do that yet. How are we doing on our tech? Okay, we're going to get a religious advance quite soon. And working on our civic advances here, we know that we're going to grab embracing philosophy here in three advances. So that's fantastic. Jerusalem is going to be producing so, so much research. It's going to be insane. We can already boost this up a fair amount. There's not a reason to right now, to be clear, because we're capped on our research efficiency. We absolutely want to get down to embracing philosophy, but we're not quite to that point yet. So that seems fine for the moment. I do want to get all of this building completed. Yeah, these guys are very, very close to being done here. So once they are done here, we're going to stop them being on road build, and we're just going to send them up to join the second army. That'll be fine. Like, there's going to be very little road build through here. They're just taking a slightly awkward path right now. Yeah. 
Slightly awkward path indeed, but it's okay. So these guys are going to be done first. These are going to take a while yet. Although this up here is a bit of a detour, a pointless one. I don't know if we'll be able to build a road through the Ptolemaics. We might be able to. We'll see if they let us do that. That'll be interesting for sure. Okay, so back up this direction. We've got 456 gold right now. And I would like to be building here. So I think mills are probably the way to go. Let's get three mills queued up there. Perfect. So we are... Why are we building an aqueduct? Let's... Let's not do that. Okay. Let, let's definitely not do that. I must have misclicked that. We're going to build a court of law here, and I'm going to wait for the month kick, and we're going to queue a second court of law. There we go. So that was some wasted gold for sure on my part. Unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Cool. So this city here definitely needs a lot of work. A lot of our cities need a lot of work. We're going to be able to put a lot more money into them very, very soon, though. Because we're almost done with this road construction project. Certainly half of our costs are going to be going away very shortly. Because these guys, they're almost done. So that seems wonderful. They're going to build this section of road, two sections of road here, and then one section of road here, and that's it. They're not going to build any more road after this. So we're very, very happy about that. That, of course, is more money that we can put into our buildings, which will be magnificent. We have lots and lots of cities that just have nothing in them right now, and we'd love to put money into that. But we also want to expand. We're sitting at zero aggressive expansion. We're at full manpower. And the only reason we're not expanding right now is because we want to have these roads completed. That's the only reason. Let's grab Master of Trade. That'll be fine. Because we want to have these back in our main army if we get into a big war with, like, Macedon. So, oh, Macedon is in revolt right now. That's interesting. Do we have a CB? Show superiority. No. We should probably start fabricating a claim on them. Uh, what's this down over here? Cyprus. Right. So let's fabricate a claim on that. Looks good. Okay, we'll get started on that. I'm not convinced that we're going to actually take advantage of this right away, but we'll keep an eye on that situation anyway. Tasm is going to become our... Well, it's going to get annexed here very shortly. And that means that we might have some more rural developments to build. We'll see. Losing some popularity here. That's a lot of gold for six stability. No, we'll make a public appearance. Okay. So out over here, we are definitely working on getting this construction finished. So this is in Hawad. But is this... Who controls this? This is uncontrolled. Okay, noted. We do have an invention here, and I'm going to grab limited governorship, reducing our governor wage by 5%. That'll be handy, but what we really want here is embracing philosophy. We should have that, looks like, in... This is going to be in, like, seven years. Yeah, pretty much seven years. Okay, so that looks fine for the moment. Now, we're lacking a governor in Upper Nubia, and I'm going to put this guy in here. That'll be fine. We're losing loyalty here. That's not shocking. We also need an oratory researcher, and I'm going to go with this guy, I think. We've got seven charisma versus nine. So two charisma loss, but 10% local research points, which wouldn't actually help because we're not a governor. But we would be able to potentially generate additional innovations. I'm going to grab it. I'm not sure if it's worth two points or not. We'll not find out because I'm going to forget. That's okay. That is absolutely fine. So these guys are done with their road building now. We're going to take them back home. And they're going to join up with the guy who was clearly disloyal again because he stopped drilling. Let's put him back to drilling in Jerusalem. He really doesn't want to sit there. But okay. So these guys, they're going to march all the way up. But they're going to go the whole way on roads. So that looks good. 
in theory, they're going to go the whole way on roads anyway. So they should make their way up reasonably fast. These guys, of course, they've got a bunch more roadage to build here. They'll get through it eventually. So that looks great. We're going to put more money into our cities, of course. We were never not going to do that. Down over here, we could certainly consider getting some slave traders, and I think that's a good idea. These are relatively cheap, and let's get them put in. Some taverns here would be good as well. These are very cheap. So let's queue up all three of those. And now, of course, we're not going to have enough to get our freemen set up here. But that's okay. We can just build a freeman district or a forum. I'm going to go with the forum, I think, due to the civilization level. And that looks good. We had a breakthrough. So we got an innovation. Beautiful. That, of course, is going to get us... Oh, we need... Oh, I didn't notice this. This awkwardly goes here. This requires encourage exploration. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. I thought that this connected here. I would think that this should be moved over here, honestly. And limited governorship should be moved to, like, here. Okay. Well, that's my own fault. We'll get a 25% reduction in build roads cost. That would have been nice a while ago. Well, it's these are still good things to have. It's just that'll delay our embracing philosophy a little bit. So that means that our next time that we have an opportunity to grab Embracing Philosophy is likely going to be in 631. We'll see how that goes. But that's going to be a bit. So we are, of course, still building roads out over here. These guys really don't have that much more road built to do, though. And roads are going to be 25% cheaper, so they're going to cost 7.5 gold now. Oh, no, they still cost 10. Maybe it's this upkeep. Huh. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think we actually had a cost reduction. Oh, well. These guys are going to move on up and join in with our main army. Uh, sure. Let's welcome this guy. Seems fine. We're welcoming in everybody. Everybody can come on in. I guess it's fine. <laughs> A fortress in Fao, huh? Manpower is useless to us right now. A conscription camp is also kind of useless. Let's just let them build a fortress here. It's not perfect. And actually, we can drop our fort maintenance. There we go. So these guys have a fair amount of road build to do left, right? No doubt about that. But they're making really good progress. If we look at our Atlas map mode now, we can see... Yeah... That is looking much better on the road network. Much, much better. It's, of course, unfinished. But it's looking very good. So up over this direction, we're eventually going to need to build more things here. But we're waiting on the civilization value growing. Hmm. Ah. The Ptolemaics are now considered a great power rather than a major power. So they're too powerful for alliances, and they've now given us a guarantee instead. Because they took territory up over here. I'm going to improve opinions with them. We don't want them to break their guarantee. That's for sure. So we're going to bump that up a bit. At least we don't want them to break it yet. We could not... Well, they're they're pretty strong. 6,000 pops compared to us, who has... Where are we? There we go. 5,310. I mean, we're pretty strong, too. We, had a, we have a claim on Macedon, but my plan... Oh, I see what they did. They took a bunch of territory over here from Macedon. My plan was to deal with Macedon with their help, but that may not be necessary here. Really? This guy immediately became disloyal again? What a jerk. Okay, get back over here. There we go. So we're going to group these together, but I'm going to split them in half so that this guy has fewer people that are actually on his side. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to embark them. 
like so. So we're going to embark and embark again. And our navy is going to head out over here. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I definitely do want to attack Macedon. They are looking tremendously weak right now. I'd like to take over some territory up here. And I wouldn't mind getting Saloy under our control either, but they're a feudatory of the Ptolemaics. And for right now, that is definitely not an option. But this will be fine for now. This will definitely finish up next episode. And we are going to grab this from Macedon. We might grab a little bit extra as well. We'll see what it ends up looking like. I probably don't want too much beyond Cyprus, but we could start heading up towards like uh, Crete up here. They're in a defensive league with Rhodes. That's an that's that's a definite option. We can start doing some Mediterranean Mediterranean expansion. Looks like the Romans are back together. Okay, noted. However, as I said, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, let's see how this war against Macedon goes. We're not quite there yet, but here in like a month or two. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including... ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.